you know, Rifle ran that option to the to the short side of the field. They ran it over there to their own bench again, trying to keep the diggers from seeing what's going on. But you know, the the running room was so so thin that Burgess had to pitch the ball when they were almost to the sideline, and obviously somebody had a hold to create any running room. Second down and twelve for Rifle at the B digger thirty seven out of a shotgun. Back to throw is Burgess. Deep drop throws underneath. That pass is going to be caught. But a very short gain for Ty Leonard, if any, as he's hit by Shea Hansen. He might have just got back to the line of scrimmage, and that was about it. And that time, the Bee Diggers fulfilled their assignments, third down and 12. You know, Shea was just a sure tackler that time, and we saw him tackle down there around the knees or below. He went up there, and and right when Leonard made his cut, then Shea flew in there and, and wrapped up, you know, right around his calves, and he had to go down. A minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Brush 7, Rifle 7. Rifle scoring on a 47-yard run by Ty Leonard. The Bee Diggers on a 38-yard gallop by C.J. Kukas. Along the right hash mark on 3rd and 12 from the 37. Shotgun for Burgess. Rolling to his left. Pressure coming. Sets up. Throws up the left sideline. That pass is going to be picked off. And it's picked off by Melendez at the 18-yard line along the right sideline. Across the 25 to around the 26. There is a flag down. There's a flag sitting at the 37-yard line. Let's see if that was before or after the interception. That'll be, it looks like a block in the back against Brush. Now, was it after the interception? If it was, then the B-Diggers will take the interception and have possession of the football, but obviously in poor field position. Let's see where they mark this off from, but Bruce Melendez picks off the pass. Let's see where they mark this from, the 22 down. All right, so they give him a 10-yard penalty, like they said, from the end of the run. Dave, that was just an ill-advised throw. He really had nothing there. Yeah, there was a lot of pressure there. Brush had a blitz. Tyson Lurick shot up the middle, and he really pasted Burgess right after he let the ball go, and you know that's what caused him to throw the ball before he was ready. First and 10 for the B-Diggers at their own 14-yard line. A minute 7 to go in the first, deadlocked at 7. Kukas to hand it off, and there's a fumble. The backfield rifles got it. I don't believe Connor Weiser ever got that football in his grasp, and the Bears have it. It's recovered. It looked like, well, I have... Maybe Jordan Copeland, but he's only a freshman. No, I don't think yeah, he's placed three positions. I saw number five out there come up with a football, but nonetheless, Rifle has the ball with a minute four to go in the first, and they've got it in great field position at the beat digger 12. Boy, what a yep. huge mistake that was. Yeah, Brush tried to run a quick pitch to the left side. That's a 59, and, and uh, right when Kukas pitched it, he must have pitched it into the – Right into the, a little bit into the fullback as the fullback makes a fake running straight ahead and it must have just clipped him and ended up on the ground and there wasn't any diggers close to it. Boy, and there's a handoff and hit in the backfield is Martinez. B diggers had great penetration with Dylan French and Tyson Larrick throwing Martinez for about a loss of two. Brush is starting to send some linebackers now. The, I've noticed the the last few plays in the in this, you know, before uh, we took possession of the football, we were sending some linebackers, and there we go again with the blitz on the left side, and they just met him before he really got a chance to dig in and start driving his legs. They, they hit him right when he got the football. Just inside the B digger, 14 yard line, second down and 12. Again, a shotgun for Burgess. Two receivers out to the right, one to the left. Martinez is the deep man. Man in motion to the right is Irving Gomez. Burgess back to throw, about a seven-step drop. Throws out to his left and incomplete. Looked like he was going for Caleb Leonard along the left sideline, well defended by Bruce Melendez. It'll be third down. And, you know, with the exception of the first pass, which was incomplete, Burgess really hasn't had receivers open. And that little screen they threw underneath, which went for nothing, the Bay Diggers have defended the pass well. They have, and part of that's because of the pressure. That time, Derek Lynch, he went out there with uh, Leonard as he was going out on his pattern, and then when he released him, he made a charge right after Burgess in the backfield trying to get the sack, and it was kind of one of those, you better hurry up and throw it. Third and 12 inside the Bay Digger 14-yard line. Could be four-down territory for Rifle. Burgess to hand it off to Martinez up the middle. Stumbles inside the 10 to the 5, and he's still on his feet. He's close to a first down. As he gets to around the three or the two, that more than likely is going to be the final play of the opening quarter, but that's a gain of close to 12. 
And it will be fourth down, but it is fourth down and very short. And that'll be the end of the opening quarter with the score. Brush 7, Rifle 7 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.